I'm going to go through how the consolidation works and how to set it up. Let's start by looking at the settings. As told in previous videos, we have this toggle view in group currency enabled by default. There are two options on how to calculate our figures, either from base currency in each legal entity or to calculate directly from the original currency. The base currency is the default one, uh, and the reason for that is it to simplify the comparison when you look into each legal entity. But normally for, re for group reporting or consolidation, we want to use calculate from original currency. That's the one I'm going to use here, and uh, I suggest this should be uh, the one that you normally use when you create your, your group financial reports. So let's start by looking at the setup. First, we have to define which legal entity will hold the exchange rates for the consolidation. Also, we have to define the currency to display all figures in. In this demo company, we have four entities and we decide that the parent company is the one to define my exchange rates for consolidation. So. Let's go into Profile, Legal Entities. I'm in Parent Company now. And we see this toggle, Group Reporting Exchange Rates. This should be enabled only in one legal entity. If it's enabled, that defines this entity will hold the exchange rates for consolidation. This is a one-time setup and very important before using the new insights. And then we need to check our currencies in this entity going into financial and currencies so here are my currencies and i need at least one exchange rate for each currency that i've sold in normally for the consolidation we would use one exchange rate per month or if we want to simplify it even more we could have yearly rates so the insights consolidation will check this company because the toggle was enabled and it will check these exchange rates and use those for recalculating. So going back to insights and now let's check some figures. We see that I still have this toggle enabled, the group currency, and we have selected calculate from original currency. So if I want to verify these figures, the 250,000 euro MRR for September. Let's do that. Going into recurring revenue. I'll click the table, MRR. And if we want to see a subtotal for each month, we can group on the fake dimension all. So that just groups all, everything together. And then let's choose the ORIG currency. If I drill down now from all to original currency, we can see that in September we see the 250,000 euros. And now we can see them grouped into the original currency. This states that for all legal entities, I have no filter on legal entity yet. And note now that these figures are in euros because that is what I say in the toggle here. View in group currency euro. In the drill down now we say that, okay, it's sold in US dollars, but please recalculate to euros from the original currency. So from US dollar to euro, and these are in euros recalculated. If I want to know, okay, what the exchange rate were that I used for the consolidation, we have a help dimension for that called exchange rate original to group. And now we can check US dollar. We see that there are four different exchange rates and the effect different months. So this should, of course, match the exchange rate setup that I've done in the system. So it says now for April, 
we should use 0.918. You can see that different months are now recalculated with different exchange rates. And we can, of course, verify this. Let's check the setup. The consolidation company going into financial currencies, check US dollar. And for April here, we can see we have one exchange rate in April. So this will, of course, be the one selected. If I would have several, it will take the average. But if you want, if you want the closing rate for April, add one exchange rate. So here we have 0 0.918 for April and 0 0.92 for May. As expected for the rest of the month, we have 0 0.93. And yeah, as we can see, effective from June, 1st of June, and then no ending date. So it's very important that you have added your exchange rates on the original currency and make sure that you have exchange rates for each of them. The easiest way to do this is to have the drill down original currency and then down to exchange rate original to group you take a screenshot of this page make these selections and make sure that you have the exchange rate added for all the different currencies that you have sold in